we're in a high right now. I think we've obviously you look at the stats and I think it's whatever we've done over the last eight nine games is you know a, a pretty high number and that's uh, it's a good feeling. I think it's nice to be catalyst for the team and to be good at a time when we're pushing for a playoff spot and we're trying to creep up there every night. So um, you know I, like I said earlier, I think the three of us have found the consistency with each other and, and the chemistry that we need and. Um, you know, barring any changes, I don't see why we can't just keep elevating. So those guys have been able to raise the level of their game um, as we have went forward here, and that's what it takes. We've asked people that they're going to have to step up and, and do more than they, what they've previously done, and uh, those are two examples of guys that have, are making a difference. It, they uh, have a certain way that they have to play, and to me it, it's, it has to be more conservative from the standpoint they can control the puck as good as any th group of three players in the league. So I don't like to see them get in the offensive zone and, and that one and out, as we call it, or that Hail Mary play to the middle where it's a hope play. But yet you can't uh, limit or, or try to uh, stop their creativity. There are certain things that you allow them to, to uh, to do and there's certain things that are no-nos. We certainly have come together. We've we've always had chemistry. It's, it's just clicking at its peak right now. I think all three of us are, are really getting into a comfort zone with each other. So, um, you know, we have the ability to, to come through big in some big games with the way Corey's playing right now. So uh, he adds a whole other element when he takes it up to this level. But I certainly think that we've you know, we've put ourselves in contention to be up there with the other top lines. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, you know, it's definitely a, an advantage you get over the years when you when you play with the same player all the time and um, you learn each other's games and all that kind of stuff. And like I said, I, I know where he is, you know, 95% of the time and the other five, nobody does. So it's kind of that that point. I, I know what each of them bring to the table. I've known what each of them brought to the table, but um, I'm finally figuring out what what I can do to make it better and it's come a long way from them telling me where I need to be or where I need to put the puck and go to, to you know designing things for me and, and you know getting getting me open for some shots and things like that so we've we've come together we've become best friends and that's what happens when you play together all the time and, and you know it's it's gone from a here's the new guy coming in and, and Let's see if we can work with them to, all right, what are the three of us going to do tonight that's going to make our team better? Well, the biggest thing with Corey is I, I know that he's going to be around the net no matter where I am on the ice. And um, when we get into that zone, I know he's going to be hanging around that net somewhere. And, um, a lot of times I just have to get it there. It's not, uh, it's not a matter of making the perfect pass, the pretty pass, all that stuff. It's just getting that puck around the net and let him do his thing. Well, I mean, he's been our MVP, certainly, and I think he's making a case for it league-wide, but I think he's he's just worked hard. He, he comes in every day as a true professional, um, you know, brings his best effort, puts his best foot forward for us, and he, he goes into those dangerous areas that a lot of players don't want to play in front of that net and, and through scrums, and he's, you know, he's so good um, along the wall and in, and in those, you know, that five-feet area around the net that makes him dangerous every night. You know, he could have a tough night with his puck and his legs don't feel well, but if he gets into that area... He's still going to hurt you. This is a new experience for him. I think part of the the uh, captaincy with having the support of a Koivu, you have the support of a Corey Perry, you have the support of a Solani, you have the support of some veteran players around it. In, around him is not a burden. The captain hasn't. The captaincy hasn't been a burden. Uh, there are times when he has to stand up and, and address the hockey club, and he's done that. For us to come back and be relied upon uh, defensively and, and to outplay. You know, a Taze and a Cade, and, and you know, coming in tonight, the Stasny line. So, uh, we t we take a lot of uh, a lot of stock out of that. It's something that we take a lot of pride in, and, and we've enjoyed it. The three of them together, and they're going to have to play up against some of the better lines in the league, the top defensive pairings. They have found a way here lately to play very, very well and deliver for a hockey club. Uh, but that's going to be expected in every game. And as we always talk about, the next game is the most important one, and there's no more scenario created than what we have now. And for those three, they're, uh, they're going to have to continue to play at this high level or even higher.